Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Prehistoric Presence. Today, we'll be looking at a rather confusing carnivorous theropod from late Jurassic Portugal. Presenting Leonidas Delorignanosaurus antonisi. Not to be confused with another dinosaur of a similar name, Lorignasaurus, a sauropod who also lived in the same place at around the same time. Its remains were discovered in the, who could have guessed, the Lorinha Formation in Portugal, Spain, around 1982, but were only described around six years later. The type species name means Antonesses Lorinha Lizard, in honor of a prolific Portuguese paleontologist, Miguel Teles Antones. The remains associated with the animal comprise of some vertebrae, some leg bones, as well as around a hundred eggs. The holotype, or the first remains discovered of Lurignanosaurus, were that of a juvenile, around 4.5 meters long, but the adult could have reached lengths of around 7.5 meters. To give you an idea of its size, here's the stick again standing in for the average height of a human being, which is around 1.75 meters, next to Leonidas. The reason why I say that it was a confusing theropod earlier is because the phylogenetic relationships of Lorignanosaurus are uncertain, being placed as a basal member of Allosauroidea, a Sinraptorid, and a Megalosauroid, and to this day, the debate is still open. However, in my reconstruction of the animal, I considered it as a basal Allosauroid. Speaking of which, let's move on to the figure. I really love this model, its colorations are based on this artwork of an Allosaurus Europius by Spino in Wonderland. It reminds me a lot of big cats, a mix between a tiger and a leopard in terms of patterning and colorless. I especially love the head, with the red head crest for display, the yellow forward facing eyes, and the dewlap or extra skin on its neck. But like the previous videos, it still suffers from disproportionately large scales and some areas with more detail needed. Uh, fortunately, this may be the last we'll see of them with the techniques that I've been implementing as of late. And here is Leonidas's base, an arid environment due to a drought that struck the area. An environment that may have reflected what was common in Jurassic Portugal when Lorignanosaurus lived. Finally, here is Leonidas along with the rest of the family. He might be my favorite, for now that is. And with that, I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video and have any thoughts on it, feel free to comment them down below and support this little channel in any way you may. I appreciate each and every one of them. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.